Hi, I'm George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. And if we use this technology properly, we're bound to make the world a better place for everyone. So to help make this change happen, in this video, I'm gonna answer one of the most common questions I receive in the blockchain and Bitcoin fundamentals course. And the question is, what is a block explorer? And I'll take it to the next level, which is, how do you use one? Stay tuned. In this video, we will be going over the concept of what a block explorer is. In the process, I will be sharing with you multiple block explorers and show you exactly how you can take advantage of them. Let's begin this video by defining first what a block explorer is. A block explorer is a type of tool that can provide information on the contents of individual blocks and transactions that are found on a blockchain. As we go through this video, I'm going to take you to several examples of different block explorers because there are multiple and you'll be able to see how you can apply and use them in different situations. Let's go now to the first block explorer. What you are seeing right now is a block explorer. To be exact, this is blockexplorer.com and what you are looking at right now is Bitcoin. All of these transactions that you see coming through, these are real transactions that are entering the Bitcoin network. You also see the different blocks that have been created in the Bitcoin blockchain. You see 41 minutes ago, block 529,498 was created with 2,447 transactions. Then 23 minutes ago, there was another block, 529,499, which had 2,194 transactions, etc. All of this information is publicly available on the Bitcoin blockchain and a block explorer enables you to be able to look on the blockchain so you can actually look at these blocks and look at the individual transactions inside them. So as you can see right now, we have a latest blocks here. Let's look at this block with 2,447 transactions. When I click on that block, you'll be able to see inside. The block explorer gives you full visibility and you see all the individual transactions that are in that block. So this is one block explorer. I want to share with you another example of a different block explorer while we're here. This is the Bitcoin blockchain. This is a block explorer, but this one actually focuses on Ethereum. This one's called etherscan.io. And etherscan.io enables you to look at the Ethereum blockchain and look at the transactions that are found in the Ethereum blockchain. Key things that I want to point out is that this visibility and complete transparency of what's available on this publicly available blockchain is one of the advantages of having a decentralized cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or like Ethereum because you can go yourself and look on the blockchain to see if a transaction has been confirmed or not. This is very different from example if somebody sends you a payment from a bank you need to go to your bank and find out if a check has cleared or not but when you actually get to go to a block explorer you can actually check a transaction confirmation to make sure that that transaction has actually happened. While we're on the subject of transaction confirmations, I want to give you some examples of some of these. So if you go on a block explorer, right now we're looking at a different block explorer. This one's called blockchain.info, which is part of blockchain. And you can actually find here, this is block number zero. This is actually the first block or genesis block that was ever created on Bitcoin. And what you find is that this block, which was created on January 3rd, 2009, only had one transaction, which was a coin-based transaction which generated 50 new Bitcoins. That's block number zero. But you can do a lot more searches on different block explorers. So for example, I'm going to take you to a different block explorer. This one's called btc.com. And right now I am showing you a transaction which actually has 10,000 Bitcoins being passed to a single Bitcoin address. This is a historic transaction. This actually took place on May 22nd, 2010. And this is what is known commonly as Pizza Day. And this was the first transaction ever where somebody was able to buy a product, a retail purchase, using Bitcoin. This was actually done by a developer called Laszlo Hanyex, who paid 10,000 Bitcoins for two pizzas. So what I want to show you with all this is that you can actually go on a block explorer and you can lurk for transactions. All you got to look for is the hash that corresponds to the transaction ID. So in this case, this is a transaction for pizza day. And if I were to take this same information and I go to a different block explorer, say blockchain.info, what you're going to find is that there are 10,000 Bitcoins which have been transferred with that transaction. So you see it's the same transaction ID being put in a different block explorer. Let's try another block explorer while we're at it, Block Dozer. 
And if I go to Block Dozer and I actually select instead of Bitcoin Cash, I can look for Bitcoin. So this is Block Dozer, which is showing you exactly the same information for the Bitcoin blockchain, different Block Explorer. And I can do a search for the transaction. And when I look for that transaction, I will find exactly the same information. 10,000 Bitcoins which were transferred to the same Bitcoin address which we saw before. So the key answer is that when you're looking at a block explorer and you're looking at the Bitcoin blockchain, you are looking at the same exact information, which is the information available on the Bitcoin blockchain. This also applies to the Ethereum blockchain and multiple other cryptocurrencies. I want to move on in this lesson to show you where you can find other cryptocurrencies and how you can discover the different block explorers that each one has. To that, I want to take you to a website called CoinMarketCap.com. CoinMarketCap.com is a website that actually tracks the cryptocurrency market. At this moment, there are 1,596 cryptocurrencies which are being tracked by CoinMarketCap.com. If you're interested in finding out about any of these, for example, let's say that you wanted to talk into Litecoin, you can click on that cryptocurrency. You can find out more information about the cryptocurrency, including how much it's going for, you can see how far it's grown, etc. But you can also find here Explorers. And this is a block explorer for Litecoin. So you see, whereas we were able to see before blockchain.info, uh, which gave you the block explorer for Bitcoin, or you were able to go to Etherscan, which you were able to see Ethereum. In this case, right now, we're looking at a block explorer for Litecoin. Let's go back to CoinMarketCap, and let's look at other cryptocurrencies while we're here. Let's say right now that we actually want to look at, let's look at Monero. If I click on Monero, I also have the possibility to go into a block explorer for Monero and I can see the different transactions that are actually using Monero. And you can do the same with multiple other cryptocurrencies. You just merely need to go to coinmarketcap.com. You select the cryptocurrency you want to see, for example, Bitcoin Cash. I can go to the Explorer and I'll be able to take to blockchair.com. This is a block explorer for Bitcoin Cash. And you'll be able to see all the transactions that are taking place on Bitcoin Cash. And that is how you get to use a block explorer. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so I encourage you to subscribe. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'm George Levy. We are changing the world one blockchain at a time. See you next time.